Whichever type of SSD you have in your computer, it's good to know how much life it has left in it. If it's healthy, if its temperatures are okay, how fast it can perform, if it has the latest firmware, whether it can be optimized and so on. Well, most SSDs have a small free app, just like this one or similar, that can be used to see all of those things and more all in one place. It's really useful to know things like if your SSD is about to stop working, if it's overheating, and if it's performing as well as it should be. Software like this is very often a fairly small file size, and as mentioned previously, it's completely free to use. I'll go through all of what they can do in a moment, but first let's see how to get this software for your own computer. You only need two things. The first is to find out the manufacturer of your SSD, and the second is to download the free software from your SSD manufacturer's website. So first let's discover your SSD's manufacturer. To do this, right click on the start button and select device manager. And let's zoom in on this. Then click on the arrow next to disk drives. As you can see, this computer has two hard drives. The first drive's manufacturer is SanDisk and this is its model number. And the second drive's manufacturer is Western Digital, and here's its model number. If I wanted more information about this first hard drive, I could simply Google its make and model number shown here. That will quickly show me that this is a solid state drive made by SanDisk. If I wanted more information on this second hard drive, again, I can Google the make and model number shown here, and that will show me that this drive's manufacturer is Western Digital and that it's a hard disk drive. Do the same with yours if you need more information on any of your drives. Okay, so once you've found the manufacturer of your SSD, that's the first part done. The second part is to download and install your SSD software. Here is a list of solid state drive manufacturers. If you see your SSD manufacturer on this list, then there's definitely some software that you can download for your drive. If you don't see yours on this list, check your manufacturer's website anyway to see if they have any software for you. If yours is on this list, then a quick Google search of your SSD manufacturer's name and its app name should lead you straight to your SSD software. Let's take this one as an example of that. SanDisk SSD Dashboard. So let's type that into Google. Let's click on this top one and click on the top search result. Scroll down a little and here's the software for SanDisk SSDs. A quick download and install and we're ready to go. So let's see what some of these solid state drive apps have to offer. I'll show you a couple of different ones so that you get a good idea of the kind of things these SSD apps can do for you. Some will offer you a few more features than the ones I'm about to show you, and some will offer a few less, but you'll get the general idea of what they're all about from the ones you're about to see. So let's start with this one. This is SanDisk's SSD software. Up here it shows us the SSD model, its firmware version, its health status, any notifications will appear here, and then there's security. The blue area of this pie chart tells us how much storage space has been used on the drive, and the green indicates free space. And it's the same here, showing storage space, but on a different type of chart. Down here shows us the drive interface speed, its current temperature, and its life remaining. So let me briefly explain what life remaining actually means. Every SSD's microchips can only take a certain number of writes. For example, if this drive can take up to 100 terabytes written to it, and we've already written 4 terabytes to this drive within its lifetime, then its life remaining will be 96%. In other words, the microchips on this drive, in this example, are 4% worn out. So once this meter reaches 0%, it may be that we can no longer save any data to this particular SSD. But all the time there's a reasonable amount of life remaining, and the drive's health is normal, we can carry on using this SSD and it should continue to work normally. So let's see what else this software has. Under performance, you can see the drive's performance and trim options. You can enable trim right here 
and you can set it to run daily, weekly or monthly. Weekly is recommended. Under Tools you can check for firmware updates, erase the drive, run a short or long smart test and see advanced details, which includes how many gigabytes have been written to the drive and gigabytes read from the drive. Additional software, you can clone your drive. The next one down shows the drive's details and you can see your system details as well. Under settings, we can check for application updates. And there's a couple more options here, a startup and performance option. Next is a help section that includes a support page, user forums and a user manual. So let's go through the software for Transcend SSDs for a comparison. Here we can see the drive's information, how much space is on the drive, its temperature and how much life the drive has left. It's not too surprising that this SSD has 100% life remaining as it's quite a new drive. We can also click on Smart and see advanced details about the drive. Up here there's a few settings that you can change if you want to, such as enabling trim. PC information just gives you information about your computer. Under the Performance tab, you can test the speed of your drive. You can scan the drive for errors. And there's an option to erase the drive. There's a system clone option to clone your drive and a help section to help you with this app should you need it. As you can see, SSD software can be very useful and can give you plenty of information. But what do you do if your SSD manufacturer doesn't have any software for your SSD? Well, one option is to download Crystal Disk Info from this website. This will at least give you some information on your drive, such as its health status, the drive's temperature, the number of gigabytes written to the drive and read from the drive, power on count, and power on hours. Anyway, hopefully that gives you a good general idea of what SSD apps have to offer. Here's that list again in case you want to go ahead and get your SSD software. As mentioned previously, if your SSD manufacturer is not on this list, check their website anyway to see if they have anything for you. By the way, it's always a good idea to back up any type of hard drive, as they can fail without any warning at all. But at least the SSD software can warn you about problems that it can detect, and can give you an estimate of how much life it has left. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.